Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Saints Sarah. I hope you're all well. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Tonight, we're going to throw down cards for Leo for their Julian New Year reading. And you guys are probably asking yourselves, what is a Julian New Year? Well, believe it or not, before we switched over to the Gregorian calendar, New Year's is celebrated between the 25th of March and the 1st of April. It was a week-long celebration to bring in spring and all things being new. So why we switched that to the last week in December, I don't know. But, you know, it's whatever. I wasn't there. It, it You know, that wasn't... Well, my soul may have been. I don't know. I don't know how long my soul's been hanging out, so... I try not to ask myself questions like that, to be honest with you. Okay, anyway. This reading will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is yours. I mean, not mine. I just read the cards. And if it doesn't resonate, well, then it might not be your reading, and that's okay. It's not going to resonate with every Leo. Just keep in mind that time and energy are both fluid and all things can be vice versa. You can throw the reading out all together. You can check your moon rising your Venus signs. It's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. So. Two more shuffles for Leo. We're going to throw them down. Ah. Queen of Swords popped out if it means anything to anybody. Some of you may be having to cut someone out of your life. Some of you may be dealing with an air sign. I don't know. I'm hearing one more. There. Leo. <coughs> the Hierophant reversed in the Seven of Swords. Whatever comes out, comes out. Could be a disconnect in a blessed union. Um, some shady stuff going on. Lies, deception. What were you supposed to take out of last year? Four of Swords reversed. Restless energy. We'll get some clarity. What was your shining moment? Nine of Cups reversed. What did you have to let go of? Eight of Wands. Hmm. What can you expect from this year? Six of Cups reverse. I'm not going to speak on any of these cards. Until I bust out clarifiers. What's the challenge? Nine of Wands. How do you overcome it? Justice. What do you need to focus on during this transition? Three of Wands reversed. How do you handle this transition? Nine of Pentacles. We'll leave these alone till the end. Universe, can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for Leo, please? 
two more. tempted to light up a cigarette right now. Half tempted. And no, I haven't quit yet. Please don't judge me. Three of cups reversed. Prince of swords reversed. Oh boy. Okay. Disconnect with friends. Cut off some communication. Disconnects and bless unions, shady stuff going on. Remember that Queen of Swords? Cutting people out. Why is the Four of Swords reversed here for what Leo was supposed to take out of last year? Four of Swords is indicative of restless energy. I dropped that. It didn't come out by itself. Okay, that one probably came out by itself. The lovers. Restless energy to a soulmate connection. Ten of Pentacles reversed. There could have been a lot of fighting over money. Okay, why is the Nine of Cups here for the Shining Moment? Why is the Nine of Cups reversed here for the Shining Moment for Leo? The Hermit. So far, I got Taurus, Gemini, and Virgo on the board for Major. Arcana cards. You may have been overindulging and you were able to overcome that. That's awesome, Leo. That's super. Why is the Eight of Wands here for what Leo had to let go of? The Eight of Wands speaks of fast moving energy. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Communication, fast movement, messages. Four of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. I think you had to let go of things not happening at the pace you wanted them to. For whoever that resonates for. Get back in there. Why is the Six of Cups reversed here for what Leo can expect from this year? The Six of Cups reversed speaks of salty feelings for other people. Bad memories. Nine of Wands reversed. Okay. One more on that. Okay, I'll take two. Two of Wands and the King of Cups.
you have deep emotion for someone and the memories aren't all so good I think you may finally have to let go of those and move forward you're at a crossroads right now walls may finally be coming down with this person you have deep emotion for them Okay, your challenge is the Nine of Wands, which is, well, the Waltz. Why is the Nine of Wands? Here is the challenge. Those pentacles reversed. Oh, I forgot I got Libra down here. But we'll talk about her in a minute. That literally flew out and landed right where it was supposed to go. That was pretty cool. King of Swords. These walls could be causing an imbalance. And your challenge is making logical, non-emotional decisions. There's a lot of emotion up here. Why is justice here for how to overcome the challenge? Could be a legal matter. Could be regaining balance. Could be a connection with a Libra. I don't know. I just read the cards. It's not my journey. Seven of Swords reversed. Truth's got to come out. Playing field's got to level out here and truths have to be spoken. That's how you overcome the walls. Eight of Cups came out. Forward movement moving on. Walking away from some cups filled with a lot of emotion. Hmm. Three of Wands reversed is the focus during this transition. As Pisces goes into Aries, winter goes into spring, and all things come anew. Why is the Three of Wands reversed here for the focus for Leo? Justice reversed. Three of Wands speaks of walking away from the dock. Throwing your hands up. One more. You flew, I'll take you. Nine of Swords reversed. The focus during this transition is throwing your hands and saying, you know what? Justice is not mine to exact. This is not. I'm not giving this a second thought. How to handle this transition is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of independence. It's a card of I got me. I don't need anybody else to have me. Clarified by Prince of Cups reversed. 
finding your emotional independence. Up here, we have a history of restless energy and filling our cups with the wrong things and having to go inside and heal and introspect and let things go. A lot of disconnections up here. A lot of shady stuff. Miscommunications, lack of communication. Lies, deception, deep emotions. Having to cut people out. Having to be logical. Leo, I love you. Don't take what I'm about to say the wrong way. You're fixed and you're set in your ways. And when you make your mind up about something, it's made up. Just take a step back. Don't ever think it. There's a lot of raw emotion here. It may be time to find your emotional independence and take emotion out of the equation and look at it for what it is. Bottom. Huh? The lovers came back out and the fool. Lovers upright, full reversed. Look before you leap. Think before you act. Do 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 do. Soulmate connections. Restless energy, soulmate connections, disconnections in family, disconnections in blessed unions, disconnections among friends. Look before you leap. Specifically in regards to a deep soulmate connection. Doesn't have to be a love situation, could just be very good friends, family. Three of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Look before you leap. That's heartbreaking. I gotta get a couple more cards on that. Oh boy. Ten of Cups reversed, Queen of Cups reversed, Four of Swords, and the Devil. Find peace with this. Finding peace with this and separating yourself from it emotionally for a minute and thinking about it logically, disconnecting yourself from it may be very beneficial, whatever this is. I'm not sure what this is. This is like the third time it's kind of come out sort of like this. It's only going to lead to further toxicity and further rift in the family. If you don't separate yourself from it emotionally, look at it from a logical perspective. Oh my gosh. Ten of Cups reversed. Oh wow. Another Ten of Pentacles reversed. Another Knight of Swords reversed. Devil reversed. Guys, Leo, I don't know what's going on right now. But whatever this is, it needs to be sorted out from a logical, non-emotional perspective. If you're going to salvage whatever this is, if you choose to salvage it, 
And those of you who are this is resonating with, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Ten of Cups reversed again. Ten of Pentacles reversed again. Knight of Wands reversed. The Tower reversed. Knight of Swords reversed. The Devil's reversed. Tower reversed. Slow down. The tower has not fallen completely yet. And if it has fallen, it can, can be rebuilt. But there's toxicities here and lies and deception that you have to disconnect from. You gotta talk it out, you gotta sort it out. Some of you may need to go inside and do that. Some of you may actually need to talk to the people involved and do that. Uh, sit down on this conversation, never hurt anybody, Leo. All right. I need to go to bed. <laughs> Whoa, I think I need a shot and a cigarette and I need to go to bed. My voice is killing me, so. I'm sorry this is so choppy, but this is, oh, I could sit down and cry right now. I don't like this feeling. Leo, I love you. You are my fire sign brothers and sisters, and it's very hard for me to even think about anybody being in this much pain, in this much anguish. I love you guys. You know that. Leo, you guys have been some of the biggest supporters here at Fire Sign Tarot. Neon's a Leo. Emma's a Leo. The domestic partner's a Leo. I have Leo friends. I have Leo family members that I don't talk to anymore, but that's neither here nor there. It's not, we're not talking about me, we're talking about you. Okay. If you feel like you might need a personal reading after this, I am available for that. If you want to dive in deeper, check your moon rise or your Venus signs. If you want to walk away from it all together, I don't blame you. This is this was rough, not gonna lie. But just know it can be sorted out, but you have to be willing to have the conversation. The tower has not fallen yet. Alright, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. I love you guys. Be blessed. Namaste. Bye for now.